a Marine makes history, U.S. service members compete for the gold, and an update on hurricane relief efforts. All this and more this week on The Core Report. Marines and sailors with the 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit are providing humanitarian support in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. Marines are clearing roadways, setting up communication towers, and converting salt water into fresh drinkable water. Joint Task Force Leeward Island are providing relief to St. Martin and Dominica in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma and Maria. The USS Wasp began evacuating on September 22nd. Marines with the task force created an evacuation control center at the Douglas Charles Airport in Dominica and can process 80 people per hour. More than 140 people have been evacuated so far. The Corps welcomed its first female infantry officer on September 25th. She's the first female to successfully complete the infantry officer course since the Corps opened all MOSs to women in the Marine Corps in April 2016. 131 Marines started the infantry officer course in July, only 88 graduated. The Invictus Games kicked off earlier this week. Toronto, Canada hosted more than 550 competitors from 17 nations from September 23rd to the 30th. The Invictus Games include 12 adaptive sports including wheelchair rugby, basketball and golf. Prince Harry of Wales created the international competition after visiting a Wounded Warriors competition in the US. 88 US athletes participated in this year's competition. The next Invictus Games will be hosted by Australia. The Miramar Air Show finished on September 24th. The Marine-hosted event welcomed more than 500,000 spectators over the weekend. It took over 2,000 Marines and sailors and 1,500 volunteers to execute the three-day show. That's all for this week on The Core Report.